I've had vitiligo since I was probably between the age of two and five. Vitiligo is characterised as an autoimmune disease that um, takes out the pigment in my skin and therefore that's why I have two different shades of skin or two different skin tones. Growing up in Bangladesh before moving to Australia at the age of eight, Anella Murali Duran chose to embrace the very thing that made her stand out. So when I was seven years old prior to coming to Australia, my mum tried a little bit of makeup on me to cover up the patchiness in my skin and I just found it really heavy on my face. And as a seven year old, I just didn't want something, you know, really heavy and really sort of kind of felt like it was weighing me down. Um, and so I sort of made the decision to not cover up my vitiligo in, in any part of my body. And that sort of really helped me just be who I was from, from my childhood. But while Anella's vitiligo has rarely bothered her, as a teenager, she grew self-conscious about other aspects of her appearance. From the age of 11, I've always felt like um, my weight has always been something that I was really insecure about and my body size and the curves and everything like that. I didn't look like the people that were on TV, the people that were in magazines, the people that I saw represented everywhere. I always felt like I had to become a certain size or become a certain way um, in order to then feel like I belonged or feel like I had achieved something or to feel like I was good enough. The body insecurities Anella experienced are shared by at least one in four young Australians with social media and advertising identified as major causes. But after finishing high school, Anella worked hard to change her way of thinking. A few years ago, I sort of really reflected on myself and I realised that my skin didn't make me feel really insecure. I was able to go out without makeup and feel good and so I sort of reflected on why can't I do that with the rest of my body and it's something that really helped me gain confidence in other areas that I was insecure about and realising that you know, other people's opinions don't always matter. But taking in opinions from my friends and family that tell me that I'm beautiful and that, you know, I um, am, you know, worthy just as I am, those are the type of things that I sort of really held on to and really kept in my mind when I looked at myself. As she came to view herself through this empowering lens, Anella's self-confidence blossomed, leading to an exciting opportunity late last year. My friends and family had actually told me that I should model and it's something that I didn't believe that I could do. But I kind of entertained the thought and I did a bit of Googling and I found Bella. Bella Management is an Australia-wide modelling agency focused on increasing diversity within the fashion industry. Fashion is a way to express yourself and it should be fit for all sizes, all shapes and all ages, um, all nations as well. So we very much try and champion that at Bella Management and we try and really push the boundaries in the industry so that everybody has a space. Annually, we put a call out for the Bella Unsigned Model Search and we ask people around the nation to come forward if they feel they have what it takes to be in front of the camera and to go up in big campaigns that we're promoting. It doesn't matter what shape, what size you are, you have to be confident in front of the camera, you have to be um, willing to put yourself forward and have a really positive can-do attitude. When we saw Anella's application, we were blown away. Anella is an incredibly uh, beautiful woman. The camera also takes her angles and everything about her skin and her body shape and her curves, and it creates an absolute masterpiece on the other side. She also is a fabulous pioneer of um, change. She's done a lot of work on herself internally as well, as, as well as externally. She's hugely into pole dancing so she's so fit. She emphasises all that is difference and all that is beauty and all that we should aspire to be. Perfect. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's perfect. Yeah, easy. Since entering the modelling scene less than a year ago, Anella has been snapped up by some of the country's biggest brands, including Sports Girl, Bonds and Bras and Things. I cannot fend people off her at the moment. Um, she is in such demand. For me, having my Instagram grow over the last few months and exponentially grow with something that I didn't expect um, has also come with a lot of DMs from people telling me that 
they find me inspiring because I'm showing my bit of like and because I'm not covering it and because I'm not hiding it away um and I've actually had people who also have vitiligo from around the world message me mums who their children have vitiligo and they hope that one day their children will grow up with the same confidence that I have has really pushed me along and made what I do worth it my hope with you know doing modeling and sort of representing my vitiligo is not just to affect the people with vitiligo, but for other people who have differences, the other people who feel alienated, to go, you know, that person looks different, but she's embracing it and she's happy, I can be the same. It's how it should have always been, is real people being represented, because um, ultimately every brand and every social media outlet is going out to real people, and that's who should be represented. Mm -hmm.